Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Renee for Yahoo Esports. Today I'm joined in studio by Dylan Walker, one of our resident experts, talking about Counter-Strike. So this series has been around since 1999, so a long time, but Global Offensive was just released around four years ago, but it really kind of gave a rebirth to the CS community. So what do you think it was about the gameplay changes in Global Offensive that really brought in new players and even brought players over from 1.6? So we've got a brand new take on an already successful competitive game. Updated graphics, recoil, hitboxes, guns, bullet patterns, it's a whole different Counter-Strike. Valve did their best to unite the player base from both Source and 1.6 under their updated title, and it's safe to say they've succeeded. How big is the community for CSGO really? I mean, would you say it's bigger now than ever before? Yeah, but when Counter-Strike Global Offensive came out in 2012, the daily concurrent player base was like 20,000 concurrent players. Four years later, that number has risen to 400,000 users, nearly 20 times as many as there were in 2012. And nearly every tournament breaks the concurrent viewer record of the last. ESL1 Cologne 2015 had 1.3 million concurrent viewers. ESL1 Katowice 2015 pulled in over 800,000 at its peak. Now, that still has a ways to go to the League of Legends World Championship, which had 14 million concurrent viewers, but that's about the biggest esports event of the year. Last year, also, Counter-Strike had $8 million in prize money, and that's between the Valve-supported majors, as well as all the third-party tournaments. It's quite a big number, cumulatively, for the year. Eight million is a crazy big number, but what about new fans? Do you think that they are flocking to these tournaments to watch these players earn more money? Yes, absolutely. Larger prize pools have helped generate a ton of buzz in the industry and motivate more players to get involved with the pro scene. But also live streaming has helped bring in new and big sponsors, allowing for better player salaries. One thing that shouldn't be ignored are third-party betting sites. In August 2013, Valve introduced the Arms Deal update, which added in-game cosmetic drops, and that was monumental. Skins would be available through the Steam client, and they could also be very valuable. Some skins, like the Op Dragon Lore, go from anywhere between $1,200 and $6,800. That's crazy. I can't imagine spending $6,800 on a single skin. What's the most that you've ever spent? Um, so the most I've ever spent was $60 on a knife, and I bet it shortly after I bought it and lost it very oh, quickly. Oh no, did you shake your angry fist at the sky? Yes, I was very upset. Clearly customizations are important to players like you and other players that are in the Go community. And we're seeing Valve take that one step further with personalization for some of the pro teams. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so if your team qualifies for the major, um, Valve will put an in-game sticker with your team logo on it. You can buy these stickers and put them on their gun skins, their weapon skins. Um, you can also, they have recently done um, fit, you know, player autographs, so you can put your favorite player's sticker on your weapon as well. Are there any player stickers that you personally own? Yeah, I have uh, most of Team Liquid, and I have a lot of my favorite players from Ninjas in Pajamas and I'll be. Counter-Strike clearly is the king of the hill when it comes to FPS games in pro esports, but we are seeing some competitors come in. Obviously, Call of Duty with their World League, Halo's always been a big player, and then we have other new guys coming in, Rainbow Six, maybe even Overwatch. Do you think that these other games are going to make a land grab for Counter-Strike's community? I don't think we'll see any decline in Counter-Strike's viewership or player base, but I think we will see other first-person shooters like Call of Duty and Overwatch rise up to challenge it. With new initiatives in esports, like the Turner E-League, ushering in new audiences, I think as old as it is, this is only the beginning for competitive Counter-Strike. Well, Dylan, thank you so much for talking with me about Counter-Strike Global Offensive. We will keep you guys up to date on all things CSGO right here on Yahoo Esports.